let's start. So we have David here, and he will talk about um, WordPress meetups. WordPress meetups are very important part of the community. We are starting from there and then coming to a local WordCamps and to WordCamp Europe and stuff like that. But it starts always with a meetup. So that's interesting. And let's hear what he has to say. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao, buonasera. How are you? Hello, everybody. Um, look, uh, before uh, or just when uh, COVID came in my city, we had one meetup, a WordPress meetup group that totally disappeared with the COVID. When the pandemic was end, nobody of that group was again uh, restarting, doing again the groups. So I wanted to start a group and I find the, the, the problem. Um, I find that nobody else I know from my city that wants to do this. Uh, we don't have speakers, we don't have anything, so how can we start? Uh, at the end, we managed to start, and that's what I, I'm going to, to tell you. I hope that can help to any of you that don't have a group in your city to start it. How to start a WordPress meetup group focusing in networking? How can I pass the... <laughs> Aha, working? Yeah. Uh, work, WordPress community is awesome. Uh, you just need to look around. <laughs> this is WordPress community, no? And it's huge also. We are in 108 countries. We are 757 groups around the world and more than half a million members in the meetup groups. But can be greater. Many cities doesn't have a meetup group and it's funny, it's good, and can manage to create all of this. My name is David Cuesta. I'm working in, in an agency, a marketing agency. I'm also administrate one a community of webmasters. And I try to share my learnings in YouTube. You can follow me there if you want. Well, meetups can be complicated. This is what I was totally, uh, talking before, no? Uh, this, when you go to the web page, the official page for this, this is the type of meetups you can do or they can tell you to do. Presentation lecture series, hackathons, social gatherings, workshops, co-working, uh, ru running a WordPress help desk, which I don't know still what is it, <laughs> contributor sprints drives, and others. What I'm going to, or what, what we did, what we can, uh, I'm going to tell you today is between presentations, social gatherings, and others. So something in the middle. <laughs> but, uh, well, what is the idea? I, uh, I don't know if you see, for, for sure you saw in some film or whatever, the, this uh, psychology help group, no? making a circle, a circle and telling. Yes, I'm, me too. <laughs> okay, uh, that is the idea. No? We will make a circle and everybody will talk. We will make networking. We will talk about a topic. Each one will talk. Simple idea. No need the speakers. The topic can be changing. And if there are more than two persons, can, can be fine. First, let's, uh, let's remind the rules of the meetups of WordPress. Uh, of course, WordPress meetups is for, for the benefit of the whole community. It's not for the benefit of a company or whatever. Uh, the, the membership is open to everybody that wants to join. That will not be a problem. The problem is nobody uh, wants to join at the beginning. <laughs> it's the opposite. Uh, always uh, is volunteer room and volunteer speakers. And the third point is, uh, is important because uh, meetup groups can be organized by anyone that is already involved a little with the community. So if you want to start the group, the first thing to do is to attend this type of, of work camps and approach the team, the, the WordPress community team during the contributor day. They will help you to, to start. It's a, a little first step. And five, of course, everybody know that uh, meetups are not just like behavior places, but easy to, to manage, no? Well, uh, how we will do in five easy steps. One, topic proposal. We will propose the topic when we schedule the meetup for the next month and, or two months uh, uh, forward, we will tell, we will talk about this topic. So the people is starting to know what to talk about it. Um, uh, second, Meetup introduction. When you start the meetup, somebody that is organizing the meetup will 
introduce the topic, introduce WordPress, introduce the rules, and uh, for starting the, the meeting. Then the third, the third step is uh, already the people can, can start to talk. It's 30 seconds, more or less, can be 20, can be 40, for uh, each one to introduce themselves. Hi, my name is David, and I'm doing this, that, with WordPress since this year. Uh, and then when, once the circle is finished, we will, uh, we will start talking about the topic. But what we will do is, if we already uh, spend 20 minutes and we have one hour and a half, we divide the time and, we, and between the attendees, and each one will, will talk five minutes or seven minutes or four minutes, whatever is that division. At the end, we make a farewell, remember, we will see next uh, next meetup, whatever, and that's all. This is an example. This is the meetup we had in January. It's the, our third meetup. And the topic was web pages made in WordPress with networking. So very open to people because we needed people to start coming. And this was the circle. <laughs> we, were, we were talking about everybody was pre pre uh, introducing themselves. We, we managed to have a, a good meetings, but also we learned some uh, different uh, things that will, I, I hope they help you more to start even better than, than us. But this, uh, these recommendations. First, show the time in a phone. You, just put a chrono and show the time that is going down, like I can see now here the time for this presentation, and with alarm. When the time is over, the phone is doing the beep beep, and everybody will know that ah, it's, I need to stop talking. No, no, interruption, no interruptions allowed. Uh, OK, interrupt is OK, but one word, two words, not like uh, I take your the word, and now I'm telling my problem. No. it's. Uh, you can cut what somebody is telling for adding something, one word to words, not because this is very common, like somebody wants to, to participate and at the end is taking all the time that has the first person. Third, propose, uh, propose questions and ideas before. This during the presentation or during the, the schedule, you propose some ideas, some topics, because many people is not knowing what to talk about, what to tell. But when you propose different questions, you propose different ideas about the topic, it's very easy to, oh, yes, I will ask this or I will participate doing this. Uh, invite to continue talking uh, after the meetup. You can go to have a snack in a bar or whatever. So the people that is uh, matching is uh, is very interesting what this person is doing. Just just you you get with the, the face and later you can you can continue talking. And before finishing, ask for new interesting topics because maybe you are thinking in your in your head that uh, talking about this will be incredible, but nobody wants to talk about that. So. Let's let's ask the the first attendees what they want to talk about in the next. And that's all. Thank you very much. I think I was too too fast. <laughs> it works again. Okay. So that's a present for you. Thank you. Very Thank much. you for your talk. And um, yeah. I believe um, everybody should talk more about meetups we forgot. Mm. I hope this probably. can help you to start your group, really. If you don't have a group in your city, think about it. Just go to a work, a work camp, contributor day, ask, they will help you. And if you don't know that, like, uh, who will talk, who will participate, this you can start alone. Maybe at the beginning you are three persons, but you can start alone. Or with a friend or... It's continue. Yeah, just continue. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Excellent. Rat and applause.